What's going on guys? Bears with Knives here and today I'm back again with another collection video and today I'm going to be showing off my Case Knife Collection update video. I made this video a couple months back. You guys really seem to enjoy it. You guys like the video a lot. Um, so I figured I would remake the video. I've gotten a lot more Case Knives since I made that video. And I've also gotten a new lighting setup, so I think these knives will look even better on camera than they did before. So, yeah, that's about it. And one thing I want to say before I start is I just want to thank you guys for all the support. I know I haven't uploaded videos in a while. I've just been busy with life stuff. It's been kind of crazy at the moment. But I'm doing okay. I'm pushing through just as I think we all are during these times. Um, we all just keep going forward. We'll make it through eventually. But I want to thank you guys all so much for the love and support, the kind comments. And um, as well, we passed 300 subscribers, which is crazy to me. So I just want to thank all you guys for that. Um, unfortunately, this is probably the last video you're going to see from me for a while. Um, mainly because life is still kind of crazy and busy at the moment. And now I'm also in the process of moving again. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just not going to have any time to make videos. So, that's really just what I got to say. But once again, thank you guys for the continued support. So, enough of me talking. Let's get into the video. So, first thing here, I have a case Zippo right here. You have the case uh, shield on there, which is super nice. Of course, Zippo owns case. So, it's just kind of a nice thing. There we go. So, Case Zippo. Next thing up here is the Case Leather Hunter fixed blade set that has two blades right here. So, you have this large fixed blade here with the stacked leather handles. Super, super nice. Very comfortable in hand. The handles are very wide. So, very comfortable. Fills the hand. Just a great fixed blade here. So you have that one, and then the much smaller blade right here. And I will compare the two next to each other, so you can see the size difference between the two. Pretty substantial. So there we go. And these knives come in a beautiful leather sheath. Absolutely gorgeous uh, sheath. Feels very nice. Genuine leather. You can just even smell the genuine leather. Um, it's great. I love the sheath. Just makes... The fixed blades just all that more nice. So there we go. Case Leather Hunter fixed blade. Next one up here is a Case Sodbuster. This has navy blue uh, synthetic handles on here. So there we go. Sodbuster here, full flat ground blade made of a true sharp stainless steel. So there we go. Sodbuster, pretty big for uh, a case knife. Uh, this might be one of my largest case knives I own. Very comfortable ergonomically, though. You do have plenty of handle to grab onto. So there we go. Case Sawbuster. Buster. Next one here is a Case Tribal. Um, I absolutely love this knife. It just looks super great in the emerald green jigged bone handles. I just love that color. Just take a look at that. And this knife also has worked bolsters on here. So you can see the little bit of engraving on the bolsters. This knife just looks fantastic. Um, I just love it. It's very, very appealing to the eye. So there we go. You have the tribal blade on here as well. Again, a true sharp stainless steel. And this is actually a locking blade. Most case knives are slip joints, but they do offer models that do have locks on there. And this one is just a back lock. Very comfortable in hand. Great knife. It does have a lock. So if safety is a concern for you uh, when it comes to a traditional knife, this kind of takes away um, a safety concern if you had one. So there we go. Love the Case Tribal. Next one up here is a Case Stockman. This is my grandfather's knife. Uh, the story of this knife is well documented on my channel. This was my grandfather's knife. He is currently battling severe Alzheimer's and as well suffering from very declining health at the moment. Um, it's just kind of sad 
to see, you know, what Alzheimer's has done to his brain and his life. And, you know, he's had declining health. He's very frail uh, and feeble. You know, he's just, he's in a lot of pain. And he doesn't have a lot of time left. We will honestly be surprised if he makes it uh, to next year. This this year has really just taken a turn for the worst in terms of his health. Uh, so it's just an unfortunate story. But this was his case knife. He's uh, one of the people that gave me an appreciation for tools in my life. And this knife just means a lot to me. Um, you know... I carry this knife on his birthday in January in kind of, you know, remembrance uh, to him and to honor who he was and not who he is right now. Because who he was was the very fun grandfather that take you fishing when you were a kid. You know, that's when I carry this knife, I remember him for who he was then and not who he is now. So, like I said, it's just kind of an unfortunate tale. This knife is very, very old, but this knife just has a very, very special place in my heart. I could never get rid of it. Um, and it just, it means a lot to me. It has a lot of sentimental value. But yeah, this was my grandfather's knife. It is a Stockman pattern. Oh, it's very stiff uh, in there, but you got a clip point blade. And a sheep's foot blade. I mistakenly called this a Warren Cliff blade in the first collection uh, collection video, and someone corrected me that this is a sheep's foot blade. So there we go. And then you have a spay blade on there. So case Stockman. Ah, there we go. Next one up here is another case Stockman. This is just a much much newer model. This has orange synthetic on here. Very, very bright. Stands out quite a bit. So I like that. You have a white shield on here with a little bit of glitter in there. I don't know if you can see that. But just adds a little bit of, you know, spice to the knife, if you will. It's kind of Halloween themed or it's kind of fall themed. I'm currently recording this in October and I'm in Ohio. So it's gotten colder. Um, all the leaves are turning kind of an orange reddish color so it's just kind of very autumn themed at the moment and then you have the same blades as the previous with the clip point the sheep's foot and the spade blade so there we go case stockman next one up here is a case copper lock this has some black synthetic handles on here and i love the case copper lock this model has a Warren Cliff blade. Most copper locks tend to have a clip point blade. This one has a Warren Cliff. I love Warren Cliff blades. If you asked me what was my favorite blade shape for any knife, uh, I would probably say a Warren Cliff blade. I just love the utility they provide. So that's why I picked this up. This is also a very affordable case knife. It's under 50 bucks, uh, and it might be under 40 even. I can't quite remember. But very, very nice knife. Again, this one has a lock, so if safety is a concern for you, you have a locking blade on here. Super comfortable ergonomically. Pretty thin and pretty light as well to carry. Just a great EDC knife. It has that true sharp stainless steel, which is super easy to strop at the end of a work day and sharpens up extremely fast. So just a very nice knife. Love it. And like I said, that Warren Cliff blade just adds plenty of utility to it, especially for draw cuts, things like that. So I love the case copper lock. Very good EDC friendly case knife. So, there we go, Case Copper Lock. Next one up here is the Case Snowshoe. This is actually a very rare model of a case knife here. It has this lime green jigged bone on here. Very, very nice jigging pattern on here as well. Feels very nice in hand. But you can see the interesting design on the knife is that it starts kind of thin towards the back and kind of fattens up towards the end of the knife. It's very similar in overall design to a sunfish or an elephant's toe uh, knife. It's very similar in kind of its shape to those. And this is a limited edition right here. You can see that. You got a little kind of short fat blade here with a little bit of a swedge up at the top. And then you have a secondary 
worn cliff blade at the back. So there we go, very unique, very cool case knife right there, case snowshoe. Uh, next one up is the Sodbuster Jr. If you guys watched my original collection video, you guys will know that I absolutely love the Sodbuster Jr. It is one of my favorite case knife patterns. Uh, this one has black synthetic handles on here, but it's one of my favorites because it's just so damn good at being a usable, functional tool. It is just perfect. I love this thing. It's got a strong spring on there. You have that forward tang as well. So this thing isn't going to close on you. It keeps you safe. The blade on here is a very utilitarian blade shape. It's very thin. It's full flat ground. It's thin behind the edge. It's thin in stock. So this thing cuts like a dream. Not only this knife, but most traditional knives are full flat ground, thin in stock, and thin behind the edge. So traditional knives just tend to be fantastic slicers. And that's one of the reasons why I like traditional knives so much. Uh, and plus traditional knives are very um, friendly. They don't scare a lot of people. And plus they just look very nice. They just look very beautiful. So that's just one of the many reasons why I love traditional knives. But the Sawbuster Jr. is very good ergonomically as well. Um, I just love this thing. It's very light to carry as well this thing weighs nothing like it honestly must weigh like two ounces if i had to guess it is just by far one of my favorite patterns and i will give you a size comparison so this is the sodbuster jr against the normal sodbuster so there you go if you like a smaller knife you can go for the sodbuster jr if you want a bigger knife go with the regular sodbuster so there we go but absolutely one of my favorite patterns. Highly, highly recommend the Sawbuster Jr. And you can usually pick them up for pretty cheap as well. So, recommend this all day. Especially if you're someone who's not really into traditional knives and you want to start getting into to traditional knives, I definitely recommend the Sawbuster Jr. So there we go. Moving on here. Next is a case trapper. This one has a beautiful red and black carbon fiber handles just you can see that very very nice love the carbon fiber on here i love carbon fiber on my other folding knives but especially on this traditional knife it just kind of blends a traditional knife and pattern with a modern material um, and i just love that kind of clash of the two love it a lot so there we go the trapper you have a clip point blade here as well as a spay blade and some people don't like the trapper pattern. Uh, for me, personally, it's one of my favorites. And the reason why I like the trapper so much is that you have two full-length blades. I believe that both of these blades are about three inches. So in total, you have six inches or and slightly over uh, six inches of blade length in total. So that's why I like the trapper so much is that you have two full-length edges so you can get a lot of use uh, out of both of these blades. So that's why the trapper is one of my favorite patterns. And this particular trapper has a chrome vanadium steel. And most case knives have their true sharp stainless steel. And the way you can tell that is that if you look on the tang of a case knife, most of the time they will say SS for stainless steel, or in this case it will say CV for chrome vanadium. And chrome vanadium is cases um, high carbon steel. So it will patina uh, faster than a stainless steel. And some people get patina and rust confused. Patina is not the same as rust. Patina is a chemical reaction in a higher carbon content steel um, with the oils of your skin and things that get on it will cause the blade to change um, color and things like that. So just for people who aren't aware, patina is different from rust and it's just a naturally occurring thing uh, for the knife. So that is something to be in mind uh, or to keep in mind when you're purchasing a case knife if you want a carbon steel or a stainless steel. They're very, very comparable in edge retention. Uh, I believe the chrome vanadium might be slightly better in terms of edge retention. So it just depends on what you're looking for what you would like. Uh, for me, I personally go with stainless steel over chrome vanadium just because I like my knives to stay uh, nice and shiny. Uh, so there you go. But some people like the, you know, patina 
on there. It all just depends. So there we go. Case Trapper. Next one up here is another Case Trapper. Uh, this one has stainless steel and a beautiful blue handles. I love the blue on this particular knife. Uh, looks great. This one I actually got in the Amish country. I live in Ohio. Uh, and about two hours away from where I live, you can go down to the Amish country. And the Amish people are so nice. They have great food, great restaurants. Uh, a lot of my family has had custom-made furniture uh, from the Amish country as well. They're very, very good at making great furniture. Uh, the Amish country is just a super awesome place to be. Everyone is so nice there. It's just I love taking a trip down there. Unfortunately, we didn't take a trip there last year. And then because of everything that's been going on this year... We haven't been able to go and definitely will not be able to go uh, this year, unfortunately. But if you ever have the chance to ever visit the Amish country in any capacity, wherever you live, I highly recommend it. It's a great time. Uh, but I picked this up several years ago in the Amish country. There's, uh, My family has a favorite spot that we like to eat when we go down there. Uh, and the restaurant has a shop directly connected to it. And in the shop, they have a display case that tends to be full of different case knives. So I picked this one up a couple years ago, um, and I just love it. It just kind of reminds me of the Amish country um, and the fun and the memories I have there when me and my family go down. So I just like this knife a lot. It's the same as the other trapper with the clip point and spade blade. So there we go. Case trapper. And next one up is the last trapper I have. As I said earlier, the trapper is one of my favorite patterns, so I have three trappers. Uh, but this is the same as the other one, stainless steel, just a different shield and a different handle color. But I absolutely love the way that looks. So there we go, case uh, trapper. Next one up here is a case cheetah. This is one of my favorite knives. I just love the look of it. Take a look at that bone handle. It just looks very, very good. Um, you know, that's just one of the things I love about traditional knives. I kind of talked about it earlier, but just you can buy a modern folding knife like a Spyderco or a Benchmade or whatever it may be. But no matter what limited edition or what variation you get, they'll just never look as good as something like this. Just... No way, they're not even comparable. This just looks so much better. Anyway, love the Case Cheetah. You have a clip point blade on here, and this is very reminiscent to a classic Italian stiletto um, automatic knife. So it has that folding guard here. I just love the pattern. Looks very, very nice. Very comfortable ergonomically. With that guard, you're not going to slip up on the knife. And it's also locking as well. It's a back lock. So the Case Cheetah is just one of the more unique pieces uh, in my collection. And I love it a lot. So there we go. Case Cheetah. Next one up here is a Case Texas toothpick in the violet uh, color bone here. Uh, very, very small little knife. You got a very, very slender, thin clip point blade here. And let me tell you, you can definitely use this as a toothpick because the blade is so thin, you can very easily pick something out of your teeth with this. But just a very, very small, petite uh, little knife here. Very, very thin and compact. Now, if you carried this, you probably didn't even know you would have it. It's just so small and light. So, there we go. Case Texas Toothpick. Next one up here is a Case Peanut. This has white synthetic handles and a red shield kind of with glitter in there. I like the white synthetic on here. It stands out a little bit. It's kind of bright. So there we go. You have a little clip point blade as well as a small little pen blade right there. I will tell you, if you have a Case Peanut uh, and, you, and you're and you trying to open this pen blade and you have the main blade open, be very, very careful because you have a very, very small amount of space here. So it's very easy to uh, to slip off of this one and into that one. So just a note, I've learned from personal experience, be careful with these small knives. But either way, Case Peanut, great little knife, um, just a cool little thing. And I have a second one. This one looks more like a peanut with kind of that brown uh, color handle right there. 
but it's the same as the other one with a pen blade and a clip point blade. So there we go, Case Peanut. Next one up here is the Case Corn Cob Barlow. So you can see kind of the corn cob um, jigged bone here. Absolutely love it. It's a very deep blue, you know, kind of an ocean blue. Absolutely love the way that looks. Especially on the sides of the knife, you can see how the color kind of fades off into that. Um, I just love the way that looks. The Barlow was a very nice uh, EDC knife, mud, very similar to the Sodbuster Junior. It's just got a good pattern where it's light, it's thin, but you have a good utility blade on there with a half stop, comfortable in hand. The Barlow is just another very, very nice pattern. And the Barlow is available in a couple different versions. Some Barlow knives have two blades. This one just is a single blade. So there we go. Case Barlow. Next one up here is the Case Gunstock. This is another one that has a very nice deep blue jigged bone here. And you have the shield with the American flag in the background. So very, very cool. You have a very small blade here with a swedge at the top. Kind of looks like a bayonet style blade, which goes very well with the Gunstock theme. And then you have a small secondary pen blade on here as well. And the reason this is called the gunstock is that hopefully you can see this in the pattern of how this back portion of the knife kind of looks like the stock of a hunting rifle or a rifle. So there we go. That's the gunstock. Next one up here is the Case Doctor's Knife, one of my favorite knives just for the history. I talked about it in my previous collection video, but I just love the history of this particular knife. It has black synthetic handles on here. You have a very long, slender blade. This was carried often by doctors. Um, it could very easily fit um, in a jacket pocket or anything very, very discreetly. You also have a spatula on here, which was used for a multitude of different tasks, uh, so very, very cool. This one also has the flattened bottom here, and this was used for crushing pills. So, one of my favorite knives, just for the historical value um, and the history behind it. I just love the Case Doctor's Knife. So, there we go. And then I have a second one here. This is a limited edition version in this very nice purple jigged bone. I actually got this knife in a trade with one of my friends I met here on YouTube. Uh, so I absolutely love this knife. Looks fantastic. This knife is also glassy smooth, by the way. I don't know what it is about this particular one, but it is so, so smooth. But limited edition, one of 3,000 right there on the blade. Absolutely love this again. Uh, same pattern. This one just has a single blade. So, as you can see, that one has a single blade. This one has the blade and the spatula. I've also seen doctor's knives that have this main blade and a secondary pen blade as well. So, there we go. Case doctor's knife. Next one up here is another limited edition that I got... Uh, in a trade as well with my YouTube friend. This is uh, one of 3,000 right here. This is a Case Eisenhower, a very, very small, petite little design here. It has a blue lagoon handles. And you have this main blade and a secondary one at the back right there. So, there we go. Once again, a very, very small, compact little knife right here. So, Case Eisenhower. Next one up here is a Case Muskrat in this very, very nice handle color. Absolutely love the way that looks. It is a limited edition, one of 3,000. Right there, you have a little clip point blade and another one on this side. So there we go, Case Muskrat, like this knife. Next one up here is a Case Slimline Trapper with the purple, or not purple, excuse me, the pink Curanite handles, and I absolutely love Curanite. Um, Case has used Curanite in the past. Um, you should look it up if you're interested on YouTube, um, but it's a very, very cool handle material. It's like an epoxy 
or something like that and they add color to it just I don't remember the process exactly but how they make this material is super super interesting and it looks great just take a look at that and just I love the way the light reflects and kind of plays with this handle material it it just looks great and because the way the material is made you'll never get two knives that look exactly identical so it's just a very cool handle material and this is the slimline trapper so i will compare it to a regular trapper so you can see that they keep the same kind of shape here they have the same shape but this is very thin as you can see right there and this also has one blade uh, instead of this trapper which has two this just has a single clip point blade here very very long very slender uh, blade on here absolutely love it um, the slimline trapper is another one of my favorite patterns because of this blade it's just so thin behind the edge and stock it's just a laser it slices so well it reminds me of an open l uh if any of you have had open l knives i highly recommend open l's they're awesome little things but they cut like lasers um and this one cuts very very well as uh so i love that i love very slicey knives so love the case slim line trapper and then the next one up while we're talking about trappers is the case mini trapper so i'll give you a size comparison here so you can see the size this is the regular this is the mini i will show you with the blades open as well so you can see that here so there we go hopefully you can get a good sense of size right there but this is the mini trapper this has burnt purple bone handles on here I love the handle materials. There's just so different. There's so many different colors going on at once. You kind of have like these deep, like bluish purple, like yellowish green colors. Uh, but I especially love the sides of the knife because you can see kind of that deep purple coloration in the bone. Um, absolutely beautiful. You have the XX bolster on there as well. And this particular mini trapper has a Warren Cliff blade as well. Uh, so some of these have different blades. This one just has a secondary Warren Cliff, which I like quite a bit. And I will show you all three. So here's your mini trapper. Here's your slimline trapper right here. And then your regular trapper. So you can see the size difference between all of them. So here you have two blades, one blade, and two blades. So there we go. There is kind of the trapper set, uh, I guess I can call it. So there we go. And beautiful, beautiful knives. There we go. Next one up here is the Case Canoe. Um, I love this little knife. The reason why it's called the Canoe is that you can see it resembles a canoe. And if any of you guys have gone canoeing, it's quite an experience. I went canoeing uh, with my family probably 10 years ago at this point it was a long long time ago uh but let me tell you it was an experience for sure um that's a story for another day but either way case canoe and these beautiful handles looks great uh a limited edition one of three thousand right here you have your main blade and secondary blade as well so very very nice and i kind of have a set of three you have the canoe here the muskrat and then the trapper this is just one of my favorites because they all just kind of go together um i just love the way all those look so there we go and next one up here is the case butterbean uh this is a smaller canoe uh as i said this is called the case butterbean or it is sometimes referred to as the baby canoe and you can see that because they are literally the exact same pattern. Uh, this one is just significantly smaller. And this has the burnt lizard skin um, handles here. I absolutely love the way those look. You can just see kind of the different layers of green. Love it. But it is the same as the other one where you have your two blades on here. I'll give you a size comparison this, just so you can see the size difference. So there we go. You can see quite a substantial size difference between the two. 
So there we go, Case Butterbean. Next one up here is the Case Teardrop, and this has a blue Caribbean bone here, a saw cut bone. Very, very nice color. I love this color. It's just super appealing to the eye. It just reminds you of a nice ocean on a nice beach, clear water. <sighs> it's just nice. I love looking at this knife. But you can see that this front scale has a lot more deeper of a color than this backside, but love it. And the teardrop name, as you can see, is that the shape of the knife looks very, very similar to a teardrop. Has a Warren Cliff blade. As I said at the top of the video, I love Warren Cliff blades. Um, I love this knife. So, case teardrop. Next one up here is a case pocket hunter. This is a little itty bitty knife. This has, I believe, raspberry bone handles on here. Uh, this is a case 2020 volt pattern uh, for this year, and uh, it has this raspberry bone handle, which I believe is also new for 2020. But it looks very, very nice. You can see that here. You also have these kind of striped bolsters on here. You have a little blade right here and a secondary uh, clip point right there. It's a very nice little knife, the Case Pocket Hunter. And I have a second one here, and I can't remember the name of this bone. I can't remember at the moment. I'm so sorry. There's just so many case handle colors and handle materials, it's impossible to remember them all. But this is a peacock uh, color variation, so you can see kind of that green and blue dye like mixing together. And especially on the back side, you can see the blend. It's super beautiful. I love the way it looks. But it's the same as the other one, where you have your blade here and the secondary clip point blade. So there we go, Case Pocket Hunter. Next one up here is the Case Swayback. This one is in red jigged bone. And God, do I love the Swayback. I've talked about these knives a lot, and I've said there's a lot that are my favorite. But above all of them, the Case Swayback is by far my favorite pattern. I just love it. It's super thin, beautiful knife. This one has a half stop on there. Warren Cliff blade, which I love. And the reason why it's called the Swayback is you can see the kind of sway in the handle here and how it comes back towards the end. And this was made for whittling and carving and it's very good to hold the knife in this grip it's very comfortable because you can see how that fits in the hand if you are carving in this way so the case swayback is awesome i love this super great and this is the only other case knife i have with the chrome vanadium steel right there so the cv for a chrome vanadium so this will patina over time uh, but great little knife the case swayback and this is another Swayback with the purple Curonite handles, and I just love the way it looks. I talked about the Curonite on the, on the Slimline Trapper, but I just love the way it looks, and I love the way it plays with the light. So to get this handle material on my favorite case knife pattern is just great. That Just how detailed that is. Um, I just love that so much. So there we go. Case Swayback right here. And I believe the last knife I have to show you is the Case Sow Belly, um, which is very, very nice. The reason it's called a Sow Belly is this back portion of the knife here looks very, very similar to the belly of a female pig called a Sow. So there we go. I love the Sow Belly. Uh, if any of you guys have Stockmans out there uh, and you don't own a Sow Belly, I would highly recommend you buy a Sow Belly because in my opinion, the Sow Belly is... A, far far superior to the traditional stockman pattern i highly recommend you try it um but i love this knife it's very very well themed i'm recording this in october so it's getting close to halloween if you celebrate halloween here so it's got the very cool jack-o-lantern face i love this handle color as well it's not black and it's not gray it's kind of like a graphite color or like an ashy color i just love the way that looks you have the blade here, and it says Happy Halloween on there with the serrations. And this is the only case knife I have with serrations. So there we go. Very, very cool little knife. And I believe that is all the knives I have for you today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, thank you for all the continued support on the channel. Unfortunately, I will have to step away for a little while. I don't know when I'll 
when I will be back, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.